Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all of you. So for today's lesson, we will look into the Ponchon Savarit method for distillation uh, based on the previous example. So we will change the reflux ratio from 1.2 to R equal 2.0. So the other values are still the same. So in this case, uh, our volatile component is NHN or our component A. So the value given is 40 mole percent NHN is fed into distillation column. So our XF is 0 0.4. So the overhead product or distillate is 95%, which means our XD is equal to 0 0.95. And the bottom product or XB is equal to 0.1 or 10% hexane. So we will look into uh, how many stages that we can find if we uh, increase the refract ratio from 1.2 to 2.0. Mm. So this is our VLE diagram and enthalpy concentration data so in the previous lesson we will we already have discussed how to plot this uh, excel uh, diagram so we will straight uh, to determine the point of d prime so how to calculate the d prime so we'll use the reflux ratio equation. Reflux ratio equation is R equal to HDR minus HV1 okay, divided by HV1 minus HD. So when we plot our enthalpy concentration data, the value of HV1 is at this point. Okay, and the value of HD is at the bottom intersection, okay, at the blue line. So our value for HB1 is 11,000. So at the bottom is also the same, 11,000. So HD is 3,000. Okay. And then reflux ratio is 2.0. So we'll plug into this equation. 2.0 is equal to the right side so we uh, must rearrange the equation so hdr so the the, the hdr is 27000 but if you look into this enthalpy concentration data or diagram the maximum value for enthalpy is 18000 so we will have to use the ruler to determine the new point uh, at 27,000 enthalpy. So currently I'm at 130%. Uh, so I will increase the zoom at this Excel file to around 150%. So the distance between enthalpy point, okay. So our enthalpy point is from sixteen to eighteen thousand. The distance is two thousand enthalpy, right? So we will put the a ruler to measure the distance between these two point, okay, from sixteen thousand to eighteen thousand. So what I get is one c centimeter. And then uh, the HDR value is 27,000. But we want to measure 27,000. What is the distance from 18,000? So we will minus, okay, from 27,000, we will minus 18,000. So the distance between these two points is 9,000. So we already know that the distance between the enthalpy point, which is 2000 enthalpy and the distance from the ruler is 1 cm. Okay, so the uh, distance between 9000 enthalpy, so we will use the ratio. Okay, 
So the ratio formula you can rearrange, okay. But uh, you can make the equation yourself, but you have to make sure that the unit is the same on the left side and the right side. So at the top part is the enthalpy unit, 2000, is equal to 1 centimeter, and 9000 is equal to what centimeter which we are looking into right now. So the distance is uh, 4.5 cm. If we rearrange this equation, we will get 4.5 cm. So we will take a ruler and then we measure from point 18,000. Okay, from this point, we will measure using a ruler. So um, the point D prime is at this location. So we will make a straight line okay, from D prime uh, passing through point XF. And at the intersection between the vertical line, okay, vertical line is for the XB, XB is uh, around here. If you make a vertical line, so the crossing between this line, okay, the, the, the slope, okay, the slope line and the vertical line is point B prime. So we will mark the point uh, B prime, XF and D prime. So the last step we have we have to determine the stages. So we will draw a vertical line from this um, point eh, from the vapor enthalpy curve. Okay. So you should um, okay. So you you should uh, make the vertical line first and touch at the diagonal line after you touch the diagonal line you move the the line to the left touching the VL equilibrium line and then straight to the uh, intersection to the vapor sorry liquid enthalpy curve so now we can make our first stage first we connect the line between this point the liquid curve to the vapor curve and then we have to make a reference line between point D prime and the point here so the refer reference line you can use a, a pencil or light color line so in this case I am using the green color line so to complete the stages we will use the red line so this is the first stage Okay, the triangle is at the bot uh, the top. Okay, one, two line. Okay, so for the second, this is the first stage. For the second stage, we will start at the vapor, uh, vapor, vapor enthalpy curve, moving upwards. Okay, like this. So after touching the diagonal line, move to the left, like this, and then make a vertical line uh, downwards until you touch the liquid enthalpy curve so the same thing uh, happen okay connect the uh, vapor curve to the liquid curve and then make a reference line key okay, to the point d prime and then complete the stage okay in this case i will be using the red line and then uh, start for the sketching for the third stage make a vertical line upwards okay line to the left okay and then line to the bottom or downwards so our uh, boundary line is at the blue line okay so in this in this case the first two, st two stages will be using the point d prime as a reference point so after you, after we pass the uh, this blue line, so we have to use the B prime as our reference line. Okay, so we connect the vapor and the liquid curve first, and then make a reference line. Okay, connecting this point to the B prime. Okay, until it touch the vapor vapor 
enthalpy line and then complete the stages and repeat the process again okay from this point make a uh, line upwards okay touching the diagonal line move to the left until it slightly exceed the uh, point xb so our point xb is 0 0.1 here eh, at the vertical blue line so in this case uh, the green line is already passing slightly to the left so according to the poncho savaric rule after you exit the okay exit the xb point okay you don't need to use the reference line to complete the stages okay just using the um, line xb okay so firstly connect the uh, vapor and liquid liquid line okay and then complete the last stages directly on the top of xb line so in this case uh, for the reflect ratio 2.0 we will get four stages okay so based on our theory if you increase the refract ratio the number of stages will be uh, decreasing okay if you look at the notes as the reflect ratio increases okay the number of theoretical stages required decreases so the original um, stages is 5 so 5 stages is for reflect ratio 1.2 so after we increase the reflect ratio 2.0 we will get 4 stages and lastly we have to determine the minimum reflect ratio so how to determine the minimum reflect ratio so we already have the line connecting point D prime okay to xf point okay to b prime point so this is the blue line uh, that we are using in the previous um, question to solve for the number of stages but for the minimum uh, reflect ratio firstly we will have to make a vertical line from point xf it's like a reverse stages ah. Okay, normally at this, uh, for to draw the stages, we will start the vertical line here. Okay, at the vapor curve upwards. But in this case, we will do the reverse. Okay, we make a vertical line from XF. Okay. Okay, as pointed in this green line. And after it touch the VLK curve, move to the right side. Okay, like this and then move downwards from the diagonal line okay until you touch the vapor enthalpy vapor curve and then you have to make a new line connecting point xf to the new point so you read the enthalpy value okay in this case the distance between each point is 400 so this point is falling is at the fourth point okay one two three four so 400 times 400 you get 1600 and then plus the 14,000 you will get 15,600 so we will have to re determine the reflect ratio value minimum reflect ratio so we will insert the 1500 15,600 into this equation so then the value of HV1 is still the same, 11,000 and HD is 3,000. So our minimum reflect ratio is 0 0.575. And for the notes, I'm using the Excel zoom at 150%. Okay, that's all for our class today. I hope you understand. And if you have any question, you can straight okay, contact me. Thank you. Bye.